Hello, and welcome back to Wes's World. My name is History Wes. Uh, I am running out to our mini flower biome because I want to do a little building on camera today. Uh, I can, I've dug through here, and now I have uh, come to this little gully, and I'm going to bridge cross, and then around this hill, and uh, then I think I'm going to build myself a little uh, cabin that'll be a base of operations and you can see it's not very far from my main base you can see it right through the opening there um, been experimenting with different mixes of um, slate for my roads and uh, I was using uh, cobbled deep slate as a kind of a, to break up the bricks, but I think I like this mix of deep slate bricks and smooth polished deep slate. So anyway, we're going to just build around this little hill on the other side of which is a mini um, flower biome. Well, you can see there are flowers around here. Okay, here we are. We've jumped ahead and we've made it across the other part of this little gully. And here we're going to kind of have a mix of uh, path blocks and a little deep slate. Um, as we come right up to where we're going to build our little structure. Yeah, that's about right. I need to get these uh, uh, torches out of my offhand. So I quit accidentally uh, laying them down. Okay, so this is going to be where we're going to build the, our house, our structure. It's going to be kind of a uh, 11 by 13 probably, and I think I'm going to build a little tower on it. So we get the rectangular shape, and I think I want to build a uh, deep slate on the base, and then uh, I'll do spruce in the upper portion of it. So I've been doing a lot of building, or rather a lot of videos where I'm just showing off what I did. That's, that's boring. I'm not going to do that anymore, I don't think. Instead, I want to actually uh, do things on camera. So, uh, let's see, count these out. And that'll be about right there. I think this makes a great. Uh, block it's almost as good as uh, black stone but it's a whole lot easier to get in 1.18 which is what I'm playing and I'm playing in uh, snapshot 7 right now so anyway I'm going to come off here and build a little tower and I'm freehanding this and I'm realizing that this is going to be all wrong. Yeah, I think uh, that's totally not a circle. So, sometimes you've got to just start again. And uh, that's especially true 
with this build because um, because I'm not going off of any um, uh, tutorial or anything else I'm just doing this by eye so although I did a lot of uh, tutorials uh, I tried to improve my building by doing tutorials from uh, Blue Nerd and so I think uh, his building style has influenced me a lot I'm uh, a lot more comfortable building after watching his videos than I was before and um, a lot of people are great builders but uh, the thing I liked about his is they were kind of uh, I don't want to say generic, but I mean they were. He gave tips that you could use in a lot of different situations, not just doing the uh, build that he was doing. Here, that looks better. So now we just have to build up this tower. Okay, here I am up near the top. We're going to make this about 12 blocks high and it'll sit much higher than the rest of the uh, building. There we go. So I'm using the same mix of blocks that I used on the road. And we'll go ahead and raise the blocks and uh, raise the walls. I think I'm going to go up probably three blocks high with the deep slate and then switch to the wood. I've been doing nothing but staying near the center base in this world since I started and it's really time to stop. The whole idea behind the original Wes's world was that I took um, long exploratory trips and built roads as I was going and explored the world that way and I haven't done that so uh, I think I'm gonna um, get on with that. And this is about the distance that I built my first structure away from home base in the old game. And um, I'm using a seed that was started in 1.17 in the snapshot of 1.17 back in I think it was April and uh, so that was still with the old world generation so this little bitty part of the world still looks like my old world did uh, at least somewhat but of course now we've got an entire new world generation so the farther we get away the stranger it should look okay we're gonna knock a doorway in the tower here brought one of the dogs over uh, as I mentioned in my last video, almost all my dogs got killed by friendly fire during a pillager attack, and uh, so I bred up a bunch more. Not what I was trying to do. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to put down the crafting bench. Because I want to make some slabs that I can use to uh, make... Uh, a, a spiral stairway inside of our tower. So we'll make some happy little stairs. Somebody told me I sounded like uh, Bob Ross doing Minecraft, so I take that as a compliment. We can use uh, use that to make some happy little slabs and place them down. And then we'll go in and do the same thing inside here. Might as well take this block out so it's continuous wood. I had collected quite a bit of spruce because uh, I had a spruce um, farm. And then I took it down because it was cluttering up my base, planning to rebuild it. And then I didn't get around to it. So I, now I'm using up all my spruce. Uh, 
I, I've still got all the saplings so I can rebuild that farm but there's also a spruce forest like right next door so it's not that big of a deal okay first steps go up one as we go around the corner and we just follow that same pattern there's one up and then those two are going to be the same height and then another step no 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 what are you doing no That one was, yeah. Okay, I'm not following my own pattern, but that's okay. I guess I'm creating a new pattern. And it's getting dark, so I gotta sleep. Uh, if you're playing survival, always carry a bed with you. I carry a bed with me in. Uh, my family quest game even though it is a very well established world with lots of safe locations I still always carry a bed and so just a good idea okay we'll continue up and then what we'll do is right in the center of this we'll set up a stack of stripped logs to be the center pillar This is just about the right size, and that was purely a happy accident, to use another Bob Ross-ism. Yeah, looking good. Plenty of headroom. And I need more slabs. Here we go with our center pillar. Take it all the way up and there we go. One more. Okay, Let's strip those. Uh, strip logs were a great addition to the game, although. Um, Spruce ones have a little bit of a green tint that I don't particularly care for. I like all the wood types, but spruce is definitely the most versatile, I think. But I'm not prejudiced in my blocks. I like all different kinds. All right, more slabs. Then we're going to make a, a slab roof on the uh, tower portion. Okay, this is as high as we're going to go. Okay, but we need to get up here temporarily just to... Uh, Make our roof. We're going to go very simple. Fit the slabs in the corners and then we will go around and place them so that there is uh, an unbroken path of spruce slabs all around the outside of the stone. Go. There's a convenient lava pit there. 
Then you get a look at our little flower area here. Uh, further to the south, the way I'm looking right now, there's a much bigger flower biome that's really within walking distance. So it's it's not like we have to worry about running out of flowers, but I'll probably build some kind of flower farm right here. All right, now we cover up the. Uh, deep slate in there and we'll just use this as a temporary block go around on the inside we can chop that out and just go and fill one interior pathway with uh, more slabs so that there's if you were walking on it you wouldn't have to jump from one to the other or go diagonally you could just walk safely around double up the ones at the corners lock that in and then we're going to want we're going to make this a full block higher just to give it a little bit more of a peak in the middle because I want to be able to see that there's a, a peaked roof on this as I'm standing down. Oops. In the middle. There we go. And that's our tower. Looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. Here we come back our walkway. Um, this is our little walkway that we built going around this little uh, outcropping of dirt here. It's not much of a hill really, but uh, we want to make it look like it's supported. So we're going to put some posts down below, just simple. Some cobblestone. And then below that, we will use some spruce fences. And then down here at the bottom, where the water is, instead of uh, just plain cobblestone fence posts, we will use um, mossy cobblestone fence posts. Wall posts, I guess. I, they're not fences or whatever. Anyway so that uh, they're mossy because of the effects of the uh, water as you know they would be now this one's going to go way down here all the way whoops I need to cut out both of those now our third post and we've got plenty of fence, uh, fence spruce fencing left over so we will use it to uh, make a little rail around the corner of that walkway there we go that looks okay Need to come back with some more deep slate and cut just like one more block into the wall there. And put a put a piece right there. And right here. Just so it'll be a little wider. There we are. Okay, so you can see I put spruce sides up above my deep slate there. Now I need to add a uh, roof onto it. I thought about making a more 
complex roof design, but uh, like by adding a block like this and then a, uh, another stair and then another block, but that's going to make this roof considerably higher than our little tower, so that's going to look weird. So I'm just going to go with a simple peaked roof. So just using uh, stairs. There we are. And if you put an upside down stair under each one, not only does it look better, it makes it a lot easier to put the roof on. So right side up, upside down, then another right side up, etc. There's some squids in the river. You know, I had thought that they said they were going to change it so that squids only spawn in the ocean and not in the rivers, but I'm glad that's not the case because in the rivers they tend to commit suicide and you can easily get some ink. Okay, there we go. Leap. And upside down stair in the middle. Boink. And then a stair and another stair. All right, now we just got to work our way across. It is uh, late at night as I'm editing this, and it has just turned officially uh, November 25th, which is uh, Thanksgiving in the United States. So, happy Thanksgiving to everyone, whether you're in the USA or not. And uh, my family, we will be eating um, some turkey with uh, some extended family. Not too extended, but all right. more stairs. I've also put in some glass windows as you can see. And uh, here we go back up. I should I think I have a couple pieces of bamboo I bought from a wandering trader. I need to set our bamboo farm so I can build some make some scaffolding. tricky part is this corner where it connects with the tower. I need to get in here to place a block or two, but I'm going to have to chop a hole in order to reach it. Don't worry, I'll put all this back. Yeah, and one more. Anyway, so it is... Uh, five days until uh, the official release of uh, Minecraft 1.18 which I'm very excited about because uh, although I'm playing in a pre-release on here in my uh, single-player game as uh, soon as 1.18 officially drops and they allow the updated version on Microsoft or uh, Minecraft Realms rather um, 
we will be updating family quests and playing um, on that in 1.18 and uh, my son my daughter-in-law myself have all decided to build uh, new mountain bases and we're going to be building very close to one another and uh, I'm going to be building my very first mega base so I'm super excited to have big plans the build I've designed is going to last uh, uh, going to occupy me for at least six months so can't wait okay on the other side finish laying down these uh, stairs as I'm doing this I'm also sitting in my brand new secret lab Titan Evo 2022 gamers chair uh, I needed a new chair and I wanted a gamers chair for a long time and I got the Minecraft special edition and the extra large because I'm an extra large man and uh, it is super comfortable it was not super easy to assemble but I managed to assemble it. Took me an hour and six minutes, so it could have been worse, I guess. Actually, it was all pretty easy to assemble except for one screw that one did not go in. But eventually it went in. And uh, I really love it. Really love my chair. Okay, I missed some upside down stairs on this side, so I'll have to go in and go back and put some more in. And am I out of stairs? And I only need like a couple more. Yep, okay. All right, back up. Okay. We need uh, three here, and then down at the other end, we need a couple to finish the... to match that piece there. First, put in our slabs here. That didn't go there. Okay. Okay, upside down stair. Right side up, and another upside down. And then what we want to do is we want to make the roof a little saggy. So we're going to put some slabs on the end. And then in the middle, we're going to put some trapdoors. Okay. The roof looks okay, but we still need to do the eaves. And I'm not really liking how the sides come up. Um, the deep slate with the spruce on the upper part would work great if this were a two-story, but I don't much care for the way it looks now. But we'll worry about that in a bit. So we're going to add some trap doors. First, we need a slab here. And uh, another stair. A 
stair instead of a slab. Okay. Okay, and then we need a trap door here as a shutter. We'll add some lanterns, get uh, shutters all the way around at the different windows. Plenty of lights because I hate creepers and I don't want creepers in the morning. Okay, we got our shutters up there, and uh, we could hang lights like that, but I don't. That would obscure the tiny little window. So I don't think we'll do that. Instead, we'll just use our leftover cobblestone wall pieces and we'll put a little, make a little lamp post here. There we are. One more. Okay, and that should have. A, I put a piece of slate right there, but I don't have one, so instead we'll just cover up that corner. And one more lantern. Shutter. There we go. Okay. Back here in the tower in the stairwell, we're going to put some storage under the uh, under the stairs. And we're going to replace these torches with lanterns so it looks a little better. Put a temporary block there. There we go. We got some storage at the top and the bottom. Put lamps in places where they won't obstruct somebody walking up and down. So in the corners. Of course with uh, 1.18 you don't need as much light to prevent mob spawning. Which is A-OK -okay with me. There we go. OK. And we filled in the eaves as you can see. need to put in a ceiling. So we'll put it about that high. Okay, and that's actually a slab so we don't need to worry about mob spawning here anyway, but I'm going to put some lighting up there just in case. And uh,
Now just fill in the ceiling. Okay, there we're looking pretty good except for that l one line of spruce at the top of the walls that I do not care for. So we need to fix that. But we got plenty of lights. Roof looks okay. Okay. All right. So let's get rid of this. Sometimes you just need to go back and you need to uh, change something if you don't like it. Okay, and we're going to do uh, kind of a similar mix of uh, deep slate bricks and polished deep slate. go and almost done done waste not what not pick up this wood Okay, let's take a look. That looks better. Yeah, front looks much better. I'm not much of an interior person doing interior decorating, but I'm going to leave a bed in here, of course, and I'm going to go ahead and put up a little divider, room divider here made of uh, spruce trap doors. Place them like this, and we can just open them, and voila, you've got a room divider. I might replace that with uh, oak trapdoors later, but uh, here we got a little uh, nightstand, and over here on this side of the room, we're going to set up a little kitchen area. So, a couple of shelves. I placed this crafting table under the door, but I don't like it there. So that's going to be a kitchen counter. And the other spot we'll have for a furnace. Okay. We had one slab left. Perfect place the door from the inside because that will give us a little more depth. Yep. And uh, we need something at the top. There we go, barrels. Barrels are a great addition to the game. Okay, so we pop on our elytra, fly around. Yep, looks okay. And we'll just add a little finial to the top here.
and there's our little base in the flower biome. With our little walkway leading right there from our home and this branch leads all the way over to the little village here. And that's about it. Thanks for joining me here at uh, Wes's World 2. Have a great day, and as always, keep on Minecrafting.